Hey, what's up YouTube? You are watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the Mark IV HD from GEP RC. I've been flying this thing quite a bit recently. It is quite amazing. Stay tuned and we'll check it out. So first of all, I want to say, if you haven't already subscribed to Ready, Set, Drone, we've been doing a lot more FPV stuff, so if you're getting into FPV, that's definitely something that we're covering. But we also cover a lot of camera drones, toy drones, and other fun RC stuff, so please hit subscribe and the uh, notification bell. So this is the Mark IV HD from GEP RC. This thing came completely built. All you had to do was activate the uh, CADIC system in it, uh, the DJ, with DJI uh, Assistant and pair it to the DJI remote control and the goggles and then put it into beta flight and do a little bit of configuration and it's ready to go. But really everything was pretty much built out of the box. You had to put the props on too. This guy right here is a really nice smooth flyer. Very, very good at slow speeds. Very, very good at high speeds. It has the DJI receiver in it, so it works with the DJI remote control, and it has the Cadex Vista FPV system back here. It has uh, two configurations. You can either get this with a 4S setup or with a 6S setup. This is the 4S version. The 4S version uses 2450 kV motors, uh, and then the 6S version uses 1850 kV motors. These are the 2450 kV motors on it. It weighs 400 grams without the battery in it, so um, it is a little bit heavy. It's got a little bit of heft to it. It's got carbon fiber for the frame. Um, it does show, it says no props in the view on the uh, description. I've seen a little bit of props from the FPV camera as I'm flying it, just, just catching them along the edge. Um, I haven't tried it actually with a uh, GoPro or uh, Insta360 on it yet, which I'm going to try soon, but I want to see if you get props in the view on that. Um, it has replaceable arms, very modular system, very easy to take the bottom plate off and replace arms if you needed to do that. Um, it does have extra carbon fiber in the front for protection, so it's got this extra little piece right here as well as in the back, two little extra pieces so that if you nosedive into the ground, you're uh, not hitting your frame as much as you are this extra little bit of protection. And it uses a USB-C connector, not only on the CADEX unit, but also on the flight controller, which I absolutely love the fact that it uses USB-C directly on the flight controller, and it's super easy to get to the port. Um, on some of these quads, you have to remove propellers or prop guards in order to get to the port. On this one, it's super easy to get to. Now, this one is $400 for the quad with the Cadex Vista system uh, built into it and the camera. It's assembled and ready to go, but you would need to buy the DJI remote control and goggles if you wanted to fly it that way. This one also has a GPS unit in the back. I haven't used the GPS unit yet. I'm gonna go give that a test and see how it does, but it basically allows you to set it up in such a way that if you lose signal with it, you can actually have it turn around, fly back to you at a predetermined height and then you can take control once you're back in range. So it's basically if you get out of range or you have interference, you're not gonna have a drone that is totally out of control. It's gonna go into an auto flight configuration that you set up in beta flight. I just wanna say for a minute, uh, Gep RC rocks. I really like this company. I've been working with them for about six months now. Of course, I think everyone who watches my channel knows that I have the Gep RC Rocket and the Rocket Lite. Um, and both of those have been fantastic little quads to fly. This guy, oh, I also have the GEP RC Phantom HD, and that thing is also great for a little toothpick uh, drone. I took it to Colorado, flew it on a super windy day, and it did great. This thing is gonna do better in the wind because it's bigger and stronger. Um, it still is a 4S, and it's got the XT60 connector versus the XT30 because the others that I have are 4S with an XT30. But um, the heavier weight of the battery doesn't seem to really matter. This thing gets decent flight time, and it is a ton of fun to fly and it's very, very smooth. So let's go out and check it out in the field. I've got the GEP RC Mark IV right here, ready to go. Finally got it all configured and this is gonna be my first flight. So I'm super excited about it. It's right there, she's a beaut. Got the Cadex Vista unit in the back. GPS unit, props are on, so let's take it off and see how it does. Okay, I just want to describe the flight experience with this guy. Um, as 
I take it out over this field. It's 4S, it's not quite as punchy or powerful as a 6S, but boy, it is smooth, very, very precise, feels really agile, clips really easily. Of course, the Cadex Vista allows me to see what's going on really well through the goggles, so I can see things like um, like the power lines and the fence really easily, and just feel really in control with it. Definitely. Um, Definitely not quite as punchy as the 6S, but still, it's really fun to fly and really smooth. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the smaller uh, 4S quads, but bigger one is nice as well. It's just uh, not quite the explorer that a smaller one would be, like for going back in the trees and stuff like this, although I can do it, as you can see. But it's a little bit better in the breeze, a little bit better in the wind. how quickly it flips. Those power lines there I gotta watch out for. Tree branches. Lots of little stuff to run into here, but so far feeling pretty good about how this thing flies and how well I can control it in this fairly small field, honestly.
Okay, just had a great session of flying five packs through this thing out here in the field. It's a little bit cold today, and so nobody's out. Had the whole field to myself. And this thing is just a blast. It's a great size uh, between the smaller, more park explorer size quads I've been flying a lot of, and then the bigger 6S that I have. This is the 4S version, and it's plenty powerful as a 4S. Um, I definitely can feel a little bit less power than with the 6S, but still, this thing kicks it. Uh, the image transmission's great. The flight characteristics are super smooth. I think I actually lost my GPS unit in a crash. I'm gonna go out in the field and see if I can find it. But overall, I gotta say, I am a big fan of this thing from Gep RC. Um, it's the Mark IV. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check it out. And I hope you have comments, because I'd love to hear them. My FPV skills are getting better, but that just takes practice, and you can get there too. You just gotta get yourself a quad and start flying. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone.